Hey groups, good to see you all again. Um, I can't believe it. I was just looking at the calendar, seeing, uh, seeing how many more um, groups weeks we have, and we are getting really close to the end here. It is shocking how quickly May came. Um, but just so you guys are aware, we have this week, um, which is the content you're seeing right now, and then we have one more week after this, and then our normal group's content is going to be done for the year. Uh, but me and Chantel, who also works really closely with groups, um, we're working on something pretty exciting for the summer, um, so we will get that stuff to you here shortly. But um, for today, let's just jump right into questions, and we will rock and roll. So our first question is this. Have you ever had a moment in your life that you uh, that completely changed the way you were living life? Something happened, and there was something drastic that came from that. What was that moment? Question number two, what was different in your life after that moment happened? Um, and if there was something different, how long did that change? How long did that change last? For question number three, I want a quick read from Colossians 3, uh, verses 2 and 3. It says, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. What earthly things are on your mind? What are you focused on? Question number four. Um, and this is even hard for me to think about what, what the answer to this is. So be honest with yourselves and be honest with your group. Um, it says this, if your kids or the kids around you that are looking up to you asked you, what does blank prioritize? What does Matt prioritize? Um, what would their answer be? Remember, the kids around us are looking up to us to see how we're living life and see the example that we're setting for them. And if we're not living a life that we are expecting them to live, um, are they going to actually live by that example? Are they going to watch and listen to the things we do? See, our provisions, um, the things that we do, uh, reflect our priorities, so here's the question in this. So what do you provide for others? And what should you be, be providing for others that you are not currently doing so? As always, um, if there's anything that comes to your mind that you'd like to talk about with your group about the message or that's come up in Devos, uh, make sure you take some time to do that. Otherwise, close in prayer and make sure you are gathering and asking questions about how you can be praying for each other this week. If you've got a little bit extra time, I'd recommend hitting that digging deeper section. It goes into Colossians 3.17 and ask some questions about how can we live lives that we're doing everything for the glory of God. What does that everything piece look like um, and how do we move our lives forward in that kind of a direction? So check that out if you got time. If not, I can't wait to see you for our last week next week. Uh, we're going to have some fun. So we will see you guys shortly.